hello welcome to tech shaman in this session we will discuss about a way through which we can handle the enter key using file information data structure okay so firstly i will show you the example that i have created for uh, for handling the enter key and then we will see the program so let's call this program so i'm calling it so initially it show this uh, kind of text to me and when uh, we press enter here we have written it press enter to change the color so if i hit enter it will change the color so now it is in white okay so this operation we are handling with the help of uh, file information data structure and using that data structure we are handling the enter key and if i want to go to the default color then i will press f12 so it will take me to the default color and if i hit enter again so it will change the color so this is the functionality we have developed and we will see like how to use file information data structure to change the color okay or to uh, handle the enter key for changing the color so here firstly we will discuss about the display file like how i have created it so firstly you will normally create the display file and i'm taking option 7 to uh, 17 to uh, show you the record so this is the record we have created here taking option 12 so this is the normal text we are not doing anything special we are just uh, writing some text and we are assigning some color to that so how if you are not aware how to assign text then you can write in quote like if i want to test to enter so once you hit enter it will it will be considered as a text or verbiage on the screen okay and if you want to assign some color to it then on the very uh, first position just after the text you can put a uh, asterisk and hit enter so once you hit enter once you hit enter it will take you to this option from here you will select the option white to change the color and you can select any color so suppose i want to make it as a white color so i will put one here and hit enter simply it will change the color okay similarly i have assigned some color to these variable uh, these verbiages so if i put asterisk here and check in color option so here i have assigned in uh, color white but you can see that here i have also assigned one indicator why because whenever we press enter key at that time only we will want to change the color otherwise it will be the same so to handle this or to change the color dynamically we are using this indicator so i have set this indicator as 80 okay similarly for this uh, field also like here also i'm using the white color with indicator 80 and rest is my default color so this is the default color here we didn't have any uh, color signed to this okay so it is by default on green okay. so this is how we can set the color so normally you have to assign color wherever you want to change it and just make it uh, uh, assign it with some indicator so that we can change or turn on or turn off that indicator whenever we press enter okay so this is only we have done in the screen part and after that you have to set some indicator so here i am setting some indicator keywords so up here you can see cf03 for exit and cf012 for uh, cancel and you can also set, uh, turn on this overlay if you are using multiple screen so this is the only design we need to do in um, for declaring the subfile and now just compile it simply now we will discuss about the program where we are using that uh, file information data structure to hand and handle the enter key so let's see so here we are writing the code in fully free format and firstly we are declaring uh, the display file so with the normal keyword like dclf you can display uh, declare your display file my display file name is key press d workstation is keyword then here we are using infds okay so infsds is mainly it will retrieve the information related to the files so it is a file information data structure so inside this parenthesis we have to give one data structure name which we which will act as a file information data structure so i am giving name it as a key ds and below to that we are declaring that key ds so here i am assigning one uh, field to this or you can say uh, first dimension of this array uh, sorry and this data structure is pressed key so this is the first field of this data structure and it is of type character one and position is 369 so 
how did uh, how you will find out this position so you can refer ibm official site for all the uh, values or uh, regarding the keys so this is the fixed uh, key where whenever uh, from the 369 position one character will be considered as a pressed key okay so you have to keep this as it is if you are dealing with only with the pressed key okay now below to that you have to declare one constant which is enter key and here we have to assign some uh, constant value or a hex value to this variable so this information also we can uh, get from the internet uh, official site and you can directly assign the hex value to this enter key constant so this is like whenever we press enter key it generate this hex value okay so basis of that constant only we will decide whether we want to turn on the indicator for color changing or not now below to that in simple way we are just uh, running one do while loop till the in03 is off and then we are exf we are using exfmt to display the record one and in select we are checking when press key is equal to end key enter key then turn on the indicator otherwise make uh, in80 off and then we are doing the end sl end do and setting the star inlr equals to star on okay so let's compile it call it so if i hit enter once i hit enter it will consider it as a that hex value that we have set in the constant and then it will compare it with the file information data structure first uh, field and if it is equal then it will change the color otherwise it will make it as a default so this is the only thing we need to take care for handling the enter key first thing you need to do is you have to assign uh, one infds with your display file and below to that you have to declare one data structure and this position will be fixed this position will be fixed like for pressed key you have to put uh, character one uh, from starting from the position 369 and below to that you have to declare one constant variable uh, which will hold the hex value of that key so if you are if you want to handle any other key then you can find that uh, it's a hex value and we, you can handle that key also but for now we are just checking for the enter key so these two information you can refer from internet and below to that we are just writing the normal logic when press key equals to enter key then uh, turning on the color indicator otherwise we are making it as a off so i hope now you are aware how to change the color and display file or how to handle the enter key for doing some particular operation so yeah that's all for this session uh, in upcoming session we will learn few more things so thank you for watching textual method